In a world where galaxies far, far away collide with reality, there exists a day unlike any other. May the 4th. A day where Star Wars fans across the universe converse to celebrate their love for a galaxy filled with Jedi, Sith, and questionable family dynamics. But how exactly did this intergalactic holiday come to be? And to find out, let's dive into the origins of May the 4th and the history of Star Wars at the Disney theme parks. We're ready to cut the ribbon. Are we ready, George? Yes, we are. How about you, three CP3? Oh, yes, Master Michael. Thank you. Join us today as we do just a little exploring. Exploring. Long ago, in a galaxy not so far away, a pun was born. May the fourth be with you. What started off as a clever wordplay among fans soon transformed into an annual celebration of all things Star Wars. The date, May the 4th, became a rallying cry for fans worldwide and Disney Hollywood Studios embraced the phenomenon with open arms. But the Force has always been strong with Disney. You know, since the 1980s, Star Wars has been a staple of the Disney theme park experience. And we look forward to you being the first riders on the uh, official opening of our Star Tours ride. From iconic Star Wars attractions like Star Tours to immersive lands like Galaxy's Edge, Disney has been transporting guests to a galaxy far, far away for decades. And more recently, with the unveiling of Galaxy's Edge, Disney has taken the Star Wars experience to a whole new level. From building your own lightsaber to piloting the Millennium Falcon, guests can live out their Star Wars fantasies like never before. Hi there! Oh, Ryan! Oh, sorry, I was just here kind of mending the, uh, the fence. My favorite memory of, uh, as far as Star Wars and MGM Studios, my first visit was 1997. I got my very first Star Wars t-shirt, specifically a Luke Skywalker t-shirt, at the Star Tours gift shop on the way out. Mom picked it up for me. Mom and Dad did. And that was my first shirt. I wish I still had it, but I always remember that. Every time I ride Star Tours, I'm like, oh, this is where I got my first Star Wars shirt. Still, May the 4th isn't just about history. It's also about the here and now. It's about the fans, the cosplayers, the merchandise, and the rides that make this day truly special. From lightsabers to droids, there's something for every aspiring Jedi or Sith. And let's not forget about the culinary delights of the galaxy. Blue milk, Wookiee cookies, Ronto wraps. Well, your taste buds can take a trip to a faraway galaxy as well. Don't be fooled though, it's not just about the swag or the snacks. It's also about the experiences. And whether you're piloting the Millennium Falcon or dodging blaster fire on Star Tours, there's no shortage of adrenaline-fueled adventures to be had. Ah, uh, yes. What's well, a celebration without a little retail therapy? Let's follow these dedicated fans as they scour Disney's Hollywood Studios for exclusive May the 4th merchandise, because nothing says, I love Star Wars, quite like maxing out your credit card. From commemorative pins to collective collect the bull action figures these diehard fans are on the hunt for the ultimate star wars souvenir it's a frenzy of excitement and capitalism as wallets are emptied faster than the millennium falcon making the kessel run so whether it's a limited edition lightsaber or a plush porg these fans will stop at nothing to snag the next piece of may the fourth history after all in the world of star wars fandom it's not just about the movies it's also about the merch too uh, Behold the Jedi, the Sith, and everything in between. It's cosplay time here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Prepare to witness the finest display of homemade costumes this side of Tatooine. From the meticulously crafted armor of a Mandalorian to the flowing robes of a Jedi Knight, these cosplayers have spared no detail in bringing their favorite characters to life. It's a sight to behold, and 
fans of all ages channel their inner Wookiee or droid with impressive accuracy. But it's really not just about the costumes, it's also about the camaraderie. Whether you're a rebel scum or a loyal servant of the Empire, May the Fourth brings fans together in a celebration of all things Star Wars. The Force definitely flows through these dedicated cosplayers, so let's raise our lightsabers and salute to their creativity, their passion, and their sheer dedication to the art of dressing up. May the Fourth be with them always. So as we celebrate yet another May the 4th, let us raise our lightsabers high and toast to the enduring legacy of Star Wars. From the Hubble beginnings to its epic adventures in Disney parks, may the Force continue to guide us on our journey through the galaxy filled with wonder and excitement and nerds. Lots of, lots of happy nerds. And maybe you will join them and us again next time as we do just a little sploring.